Hi friends, Siddharth again. In today's video, I'll talk about some entry level jobs in cybersecurity profile. In this video, I'll talk about seven most basic or entry level jobs in Germany in cybersecurity profile, which in my opinion are low hanging fruits and you can easily find a job in these profiles. You know, if you have gone through my videos, you probably have noticed that I always recommend that you should go for technical Whatever job you go in for. I mean, if you go for software development, if you go for software management, if you go for any cybersecurity or database management or any job, if you go for technical profiles, there is a very inherited advantage that these technical profiles are in abundance. There is a huge demand of technical profiles in Germany. This is the first reason. The second reason is if you go for technical, you know, core uh, specific that is known as uh, subject matter expert, that is SMEs, since you really don't require a lot of German skills. So even if you are English speaking, you can still find a job easily if you go for technical profiles. The third reason is if you go for managerial profiles like let's say um, um, vendor management or or any such jobs wherein you need to interact with the outer world, then you can take it for granted that you require a very fluent or very high level of German language. So again, this becomes a biggest, a very big hurdle. And uh, I would rather suggest you if you go for cybersecurity profiles, prefer not to go for jobs like um, cybersecurity manager or cybersecurity auditor. Well, I myself, I am a cybersecurity auditor and I understand that for my profile, German skills are mandatory. But if you go for, uh, you know, initial um, technical profiles like let's say cybersecurity analyst or SOC engineer or malware engineer, forensics engineer, such job profiles are very technical and they really don't require a very, uh, you know, it's, it's not mandatory that you must be German speaker uh, to go for these jobs. So let's begin with my, my this video. I strongly recommend friends, please uh, see this video completely because I'm going to share a lot of information in this video that I gained from my own three years experience in Germany. So first of all, friends, consider first whether you would like to work as an external consultant, that is a company hires you and deputes you to a third party, to a third company, or you want to work as a internal consultant, that is you are in a big organization and you are working only for your own organization. So let's say if I am a cybersecurity consultant, for example, I may be working for my own organization or for a third party or for that is for a third organization. So here comes a big difference because I have worked in both such profiles. Previously in my job, in my previous job, I was deputed in uh, third party uh, companies wherein I was as an external consultant and in my present job, I am working as an internal auditor. That is, I'm working only for my own company. So there is a huge difference between these two profiles. Well, both of them are excellent, I would say. One is orange and one is apple. But still, uh, my personal opinion is if I work for my own organization, that gives a sense of uh, ownership or it gives a kind of a moral uh, responsibility for me myself. It motivates me to work for my own company. So now it is up to you to decide whether you want to work as an external consultant or an internal consultant. My second recommendation, I strongly recommend go for vendor neutral technologies. Let's say um, if you go for cloud technology or if you want to, if you have interest in cloud technologies, then I strongly recommend that please don't focus only on Azure or only on AWS or any other cloud uh, technology. Rather, to widen your scope of uh, career or to you know increase your chances of getting employed in Germany, I would strongly recommend that please go vendor neutral. Try to project in your resume that you know the cloud technology. Don't mention that you know only Google cloud technology or only AWS. This way, if you narrow down your own scope, you will also narrow down your chances of getting employed. So always go for vendor neutral technologies. Also, in case if you have planned for some certifications, 
it's always recommended to go for vendor neutral certifications just to take this example of cloud technologies you may go for let's say ccsp for example a certified cloud service provider or something like that instead of going for um, you know a very deep um, uh, uh, dedicated certification from aws third point whenever you are searching for jobs in germany please find out what is your profile known as in german market for example it security is of course it security but in german it becomes information technology sicherheit it is the same but security becomes sicherheit otherwise um, there are many other uh, um, such differences for example if you go for consultants consultancy jobs so consultancy in german is beratung so you need to find out how your profile is known as in german and when you are uh, you know applying for those jobs or even if you are searching on german web portals for those jobs please key in the german counterparts so that you will find many more jobs compared to what uh, they are known as in english language point number 4 as i mentioned uh, previously also please try to project your profile in technical uh, streams only don't go for generic management security related uh, profiles like uh, cism for example uh, that is it security manager or it uh, auditor ciso these are all non technical profiles they are 50% technical and 50% managerial and uh, in all cases they require a lot of german skills so if you are already having experience like a manager or a team leader please 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 project your profile as a technical profile here you will find people with 15 to 20 years experience also working as core technical guys and they are not working as any uh, any general managers or stuff like that so take this point into consideration so now i will switch over to the seven most uh, entry level jobs which in my opinion require very less germans and you may find out the job which strikes you the most so the first job that i would recommend is go for ethical hacker or penetration tester profile now this profile talks about finding vulnerabilities in our application or maybe in an organization and it is core technical for this profile you need to have a hands on experience over kali linux for example or there are hundreds and hundreds of tools which are dedicated for uh, for various aspects of cyber security you need to master upon them and this way uh, this is a very very entry level job and i see almost 95% of my friends or my uh, my knowns who are into it security they were able to find job in ethical hacking or penetration testing profiles in my opinion this is a low hanging fruit and you can consider going for this profile now for this profile also you can consider going for red teaming or blue teaming i will explain these technical terms in some other video but for now just understand that ethical hacking profiles can be a very lucrative and a very low hanging fruit for you and you may consider going for this profile profile number 2 it security engineer now engineer if you find this word engineer which in german is ingenieur you will you will understand that this is definitely a core technical profile because engineer means that you are not supposed to you know go for management uh, roles or you need you need not to man, you need not manage teams but you have to work alone maybe single uh, contributor and it security engineer is more or less involved with the it security in one profile only let's say one organization has a um, has a server uh, infrastructure and they want a guy who will take over uh, take care of it security aspects of this infrastructure it may include your patch management change management it could be firewall management it could be all type of technical profiles so it security engineer itself is a single contributor and is also a very high in demand profile now again this it security engineer could be an external engineer or an internal internal engineer as i discussed earlier you may depending on your choice go for let's say uh, external consultant or an internal consultant and this it security engineer can work in both profiles so choice is yours profile 3 cyber security analyst this profile talks about internal most of the time however it can be also external now it talks about network security perimeter security and all aspects related to the it security of an organization these profiles are also standalone profile and you may be engaged as a single contributor 
it's a very fulfilling profile because you are given a lot of responsibilities and you can really shine in these profiles number four cyber security consultant now consultant uh, it's 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 more or less like an external job because as i were as i was engaged in my previous job i was hired by one company and was deputed on another company's uh, infrastructure i i was taking care of the various risk assessment and the compliance issues of the third company and this was also a very fulfilling job because i got to know many people around many companies many technologies around and because of course um, i was as a cons uh, external consultant but still my profile was very limited i used to interact with say three or four people around and uh, i really didn't require much of german language skills this profile is also a very uh, knowledgeable profile because you get to know many people around you you get to know many technologies around and is uh, a very rewarding career opportunity number 5 sock analyst or incidents responder this is a real real core technology technical profile these guys are mostly engaged with simlo solutions that is security incident and event management solutions for example elastic greylog q radar arcsight there are tons and tons of sim solutions and this profile also works 24 by 7 so in case if you are comfortable enough to work in night shifts of course uh, you can uh, get extra money for that but these profiles are very core technical you have to be engaged all the times and i have uh, seen many times that these profiles are sometimes overloading as well but in the uh, parallelly you also get to know a new a lot of technologies lot of incidents you can have a hands on experience on handling incidences and how to respond to those incidences and alerts this is a technical profile and is definitely a good learning opportunity for your future prospects number 6 vulnerability manager or vulnerability management skills so friends vulnerability manager is a software not you you are not working you are not going to work as a manager your software is going to work as a manager here uh, the candidate is engaged into you know finding vulnerabilities in the environment in the network in the servers and this profile is again both internal as ex as well as external so you may uh, depending on your choice go for this profile also here you get to know many vulnerabilities in the in the environment and of course you know if you were to patch a server uh, to uh, to remove that vulnerability you have to tie up with many people around people who are working on this server that means you you really are engaged with many people around but still because it's a core technical profile it's a low hanging job and you can easily find many job opportunities in this field for this profile you should be having hands on experience on various um, uh, vulnerability scanner tools for example open vas tenable nessus rapid 7 and many more so this way you can learn a lot of technologies you can learn network perimeter security you can net learn network architecture as well and this definitely gives you a lot of opportunities to learn for your future endeavors number 7 forensic expert now forensic experts are still a very high in demand they come uh, into picture when a uh, incident has already occurred so these guys will will are experts in you know gathering proofs and finding out what has exactly happened then you know uh, setting up a timeline how the things actually occurred this is kind of a detective role and it's definitely it's very very rewarding because you have to pictureize what had actually happened collecting all the proofs from all uh, resources and and you know uh, putting them in a timeline i myself have never worked in this profile but i would love to work in this profile sometime in my career so friends these were seven uh, profiles uh, seven job opportunities which i call as low hanging fruits for most of these profiles you really don't require a lot of german skills in fact many profiles uh, for many profiles you can also uh, manage with english skills only if you have made up to this point friends i would strongly recommend please consider subscribing to my channel and like this video as well and in case if you have any doubts any comments please feel free to post them on youtube comments see you and bye bye